I just got done studying at the library. I've been at the library since like 9.30. It's three. I have a pharmacology ETI tomorrow. So I've been going over medications because it's literally what it's all about. That and um, of course some dosage calc, which dosage calc is fine. I'm just nervous because I have to get at least like a 70 something. And when I took the practice test the first time, I got like barely a 60. So in order for my like pop score to go up, it needs to, I need to place like that high. And one semester of pharmacology, like I feel like they should have pharmacology every semester. Cause I feel like it doesn't, we don't get taught enough sometimes. And it's just a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much, I'm going home to go eat. Cause I, I had breakfast this morning cause it's my birthday. Happy 26th to me. Yeah, I'm studying literally all day for my birthday. But I got to go to dinner last night with my mom and Devin, which was nice. We went to Olive Garden and obviously I straightened my hair, but that's what's going on. And I, <laughs> I just don't have the energy. Like, it, I don't know how people like this last semester is really going to take me out. I had my birthday reward from Starbucks. So I got free coffee today and then I got my egg white grill, which Chick-fil-A gives you like a free entree. So I got my egg white grill. I only had to pay like 30 cents because of the freaking, I swapped the American cheese for Colby Jack because I hate American cheese. And I had to pay 30 cents for a slice of cheese. Anyways. Um, chow. Anyway, so. That's all I had today. And then I had, well, I had a snack. I took like a little 20 minute break and I had a snack of carrots and hummus. So I'm gonna go to Subway. I love Subway and I'm gonna try to use this coupon. <laughs> I'm a coupon girl. Cole, let's put that stuff away. I need you to be with me here. I so I'm gonna try to use this so I can get that at a decent price. I have cash on me, so that's what I'm gonna do. And study some more. I made some flashcards. Um, that's pretty much how I can study with medications. It's just like repetition. So I'm just gonna study with that. And then I'm gonna retake the practice test. And then I'm going to do some more dynamic quizzes I just really have to do good tomorrow I'm just so scared and then tomorrow after the test me and my partner Kenzie she's my friend but we're partners for video recording of us doing a physical assessment and I have to go through literally all of the ones that we learned since like the very beginning of the semester and we have to do that for each other and then we're also going to try to knock out our interview questions too so we don't have to worry for anything one of them's do the fifth and the other one's do the 12th but we're just trying to knock them both out that's how my day's going i asked Devin for chinese later so hopefully i get that because i really want chinese i haven't gotten any of my presents except i did open one last night because Devin is such <laughs> Devin is so funny like whenever it's christmas any type of thing we're celebrating he always wants to give me my presents like right at the moment he's like can i just give me my present can i just give you your present so i was like okay you can give me one i told him that last night i was like you can give me one tonight and so i got this cute little um heart-shaped mirror that i had asked for and i'll have to show you guys later but it's so cute i got that and then i'm opening the rest of mine later tonight when he gets home from work and then yeah so that's what's going on <laughs> happy monday making sure your blood returns good Hydrated. You are very hydrated, Miss McKenzie. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Oh my I'm waiting for Devin to come home <laughs> so we can go to the gym together. We do not go to the gym together anymore, really, because he is always working, which I totally understand. Got back from a walk, me and Archie. I tried to take him on a walk at least once a day. I really, that's my New Year's goal, to take him on a walk at least once a day. 
but it's a lot harder than you think when you're in school just period so so i pretty much was at the on campus for like since like 11 maybe 10 30 or 11 and i got home around like three i pretty much did all my readings except for like one and then i need to go over lectures but i mean i feel like as long as i go over readings i somewhat understand what's going on in lecture so like sometimes like if I watch lecture, I get a little too bored and then I start wandering off. But lecture does help. And today I had my first interview this morning, which was very, very nerve wracking, but I felt very prepared. Uh, my interviewer was so nice and it was more of like a talk, to a, talking and getting to know each other in a very formal interview, So, which made me feel more relaxed. I wish more interviewers would do that. So us nursing students aren't so scared. But hopefully I hear something back. We'll see. It's my first interview since I've applied to other places, like the only one I've heard back from. So hoping and praying, fingers crossed. Keep reaching out. Hopefully I get my specialty. Uh, I'm just hoping for the best. I know in God's plan, he'll put me where he wants me to be. So I understand, you know, sometimes you got to start from where you don't want to and work your way up. So I totally get that. Either way, I'm very blessed and... Yeah, that's pretty much what happened today. I got my nails done. I did a nude color because that's pretty much what we have to do is very light and neutral colors. And I felt what other way to have light neutral colors than to have nude nails. And I feel like they're not really that obvious either. So I like a nude. I used to do my, ha my hands either nude or pink, like a baby pink, no in between. I washed my hair because curls, ha not curls, the straight hair had to go. I've had my hair straightened since Sunday, I think. Saturday or Sunday? No, Sunday. Yeah. So, yeah, I had to wash it. But, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. I'm trying to do my Ulta order because I had $10 off for um, my birthday. They give you like a $10 off coupon. And all I really need to get is a... So I got the Urban Decay spray and I love that spray, right? And I thought it was my D Slick D Oil one because I'm a very oily girl. And turns out, I guess I had bought the wrong one and I just opened it because I just finished my other spray. So I just opened it and I, it's, it's way past the time to bring it back, but it's literally just their like regular all nighter spray. I was like, wow. So I was like, you know what, let me just try it today. See, it goes, oh, well, actually this is like the third time I've tried it. I've been trying it with different foundations. I'm like, okay, maybe it's just, it'll work with this one. No, I was so oily. I literally looked like a glazed donut and not in a good way. So I don't know. Also, I've been using the NARS Soft Matte Foundation and I don't know, is it the way that I'm using it? Because I feel like the way that I'm using it is making my face feel really oily and look really oily and it only separating it separates really bad and I don't understand why because I prime my face and I've never had problems with the primer that I use with any of my foundations but this NAR soft matte foundation it just it does that I don't know why it's really bad and I do the same steps where I set my face I don't understand I don't understand so if you guys have any tips let me know because I'm just thinking about just getting another foundation because I only really use either the NARS foundation natural radiant foundation the nar soft matte or my l'oreal infallible matte foundation those are the only ones i use right now yeah so i'm about to do my pre-workout and drink my pre-workout so i can get ready pretty much when deming comes so we can just leave because i'm trying to get out it's almost like what it's almost four and i really don't want it to want to go when it's like prime time worst time to go I took up ground beef, but I really don't know what I'm going to make with it. I literally had a taco bowl earlier, and I really don't feel like having ground beef again, but we'll see. I also have lasagna as a backup plan. The Stouffer's was lasagna, so we'll see. But other than that, that's what's going on today. Yesterday, we took our proctored ATI pharmacology assessment, and that was honestly easier than I thought it was going to be. It was hard still. I didn't rank, like, really high, but... I thought it would be a lot harder because usually when we do our practice assessments, those are hard, but they don't, it's like it doesn't reflect what's actually on the proctor. It's like the proctor is like, it's like this is the practice assessments and then this is the proctor. It's just like, 
not equivalent at all. I feel like it doesn't, <laughs> I feel like the practices don't even help us practice, but, but I mean, it paid off. Do I wish I would have been able to study more and more frequently like I did yesterday um, on my birthday? Yes, I think it definitely would have helped, but it's just so hard to find the time to do more studying on top of studying on top of studying. So yeah, it's just hard. So I'm trying to like map out my days, but it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. It's easier said than done to like have a map for what you want to do for the day and then it not get done or it doesn't go that way. So yeah, this week I'm like trying it out where I'm going to go to campus on the days that I don't have class and like really make myself sit there and do all my work and get caught up if not ahead. So yeah, I'm pretty much ahead. I think I just, well, I'm pretty much caught up. I have to like do this thing for my physical assessment, answer some questions, and then I'm going to submit that, which is due the 5th. We have a quiz, so that doesn't open until Friday. I'm going to try to do that right after class on Friday. And then I think we have a couple of other assignments due the following week, but it's like easy assignments, I think. I'm not sure. So yeah, but I'm really feeling pretty okay right now. I'm just a little stressed about obviously job searching and I just want my uh, pop score to go up because I feel like everybody's pop scores are really high and I feel like mine's is so low and it's really hard to not get in your head when other people are doing better than you and it's not even like a comparison thing it's just that I want to do well like that too you know so it's like if I have to study my butt off and keep putting in all this extra effort I will have to because you know I just got to keep doing these dynamic study quizzes. Um, I got to start studying for our nutrition ETI, which we haven't taken that. Last time I took nutrition, actually we never took an, a nutrition class, which I really wish all nursing schools you took a nutrition class because I feel like that would really help um, at being in our clinicals and just in general be able to educate our patients. But uh, we took our... ATI nutrition exam and I think it was like my first month and I remember literally looking at that exam and I was like I know nothing and that's literally like and it I'm not the only one I think all of us felt that way we did not none of us really got high scores on that unless you had a background in nutrition and stuff but that was hard so we have to retake it like I said, I'm taking it a day at a time. I'm really trying to get ahead, but it's so hard when I feel like I'm drowning. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. We are almost at the end of the week. It is half, it is halfway. So we got this. I'm just filming just a little bit right now because my mom is outside and do a demo aka book so um pretty much today we had lecture and we usually have a quiz so we have weekly quizzes today me and my friend we decided to do the test together and we both did completely terrible on it <laughs> like worse than we've done on the other ones and yeah i don't know why that i mean it was hard don't get me wrong but yeah, it was just not it. So hard for no reason. I literally messaged my professor about it because I was like, hey girl, I'm crying. Like, what can I do? And she was like, please don't stress it. Like, I'm like, girl, this is my grade. But she's like, don't stress it. You have plenty of time. Like, it's literally just like the third week. And I'm like, yeah, I'm already in shambles though, you know? Okay, girl, whatever you say. So, literally nothing I can do about it, is what she pretty much said. And so I wanna cry, but you know, we live, love, laugh. Had lecture, did a quiz, came home, took Archie to, on a walk, and then, yeah, literally ate lunch, and now I'm going to go do a demo for like two hours make some extra cash and come home. I should be starting my job soon for my mom, like an actual job where I go on base to do some stuff uh, for her. 
next week so that'll be exciting because it'll actually be like a only thing that's downside about that is that i only get paid once a month i mean it's definitely a lot more money than i'm used to though so but and it's less hours well more hours but it's a more or less like i can go in and just if i wanted to do the whole like 15 hours i could do it in like two days and that's it and then i'm done for the rest of the week but and i can go on the weekend as well so that's nice but anyways that's how today went but i hope you guys have had an amazing friday and are having a better friday than me <laughs> how I look class. don't forget to hydrate finish my 32 ounces gonna get some more it's kind of trash for the whole like, two o'clock almost but love you guys bye